Hi, Gary Rogers here. Welcome to the Spiritual Heritage Channel. Today I want to share with you about the life and faith of a woman, Gertrude Dixon, and her husband Charles. Gertrude was from a little settlement west of Christchurch called Kerwee. She worshipped in a Baptist church and played the harmonium little pedal organ. She was born in the late 1800s. Charles was part of a butchery business, the Dixon Brothers, and he was in charge of the farm operation, which is why he was in this rural community. Charles and Gertrude got married and in 1915, uh, Gertrude um, was pregnant with a friend of mine. Her name was Jean Dixon, and Jean is now passed away, but uh, I found out the story through my friend Jean. Uh, when Gertrude was pregnant with Jean, she moved back to Christchurch, and they became part of the Braden Baptist Church where Charles family had been founding members. Charles was also musical and he was a choir master there. One day Gertrude was singing and worshipping God in the kitchen and she began singing in a language that she didn't know. It's called tongues and very common among uh, Christians in the church today and uh, she however was very ill and she had heart disease and cancer. She grew worse and became bedridden. One day she said to Charles, Charles don't call the doctor, God's gonna heal me. Well Gertrude became worse and eventually she went into a coma. Well, Charles didn't call the doctor, which I think shows that he also had great faith. Imagine after three days and your beloved wife is in a coma and you don't call for help. He had faith too. And anyway, after three or four days, Gertrude came out of the coma. She was not only healed when she came out of the coma, completely healed of heart disease and cancer, but she was born blind in one eye and God gave her her eyesight back. Gertrude lived to the ripe old age of 93. And this story inspires me because of the incredible faith that this woman had that against all odds, she believed that God would heal her and could even raise her from the dead, which he virtually did. <music>